Okay. Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good morning. It is 8 16 2021. Right now we're going to do some dark tower. So let's get right into it. Uh, I checked this morning and I saw that in the deals right here, if you go to deals, you'll actually see that there are combat packs here today. So these combat packs, they'll end in about two days and you can buy them using coins, gems, and then creds if you're on congregate. If you buy all three, uh, as you can see here, the coin, gem, and uh, uh, creds, you'll be able to get more of these. Uh, they start to scale up pretty well, so if you actually can buy it, I would suggest you do it. Um, it does have this legendary hero hoodoo, and then some extra gems over here. So yeah, check it out if you are looking for more stuff to buy. All right, uh, let's close that out. We're going to go to our Dungeon of Trials. And as you see here, Dark Tower is now open. It will end in about six days. So we have three attempts right now. We have to get 16 wins. And so let us start it off. Okay, uh, first things first, we wanna make sure that we can set up our base. So in order to do that, we will start with our unit over here. We're going to make sure that we get rid of their units first and then uh, go for damage next. Especially since we're facing an ogre, we'll have to play the long game. So we'll need to draw out their silence. We'll need to draw out their stone with the heal and then their heal. Uh, they have a pet over here that deals extra damage whenever a male unit destroys something on their side and then attack boost over here and then also extra health whenever one of their units attacks. Okay, so how fortunate that we don't have a melee unit to actually destroy something over here. Uh, given that they still have silence, we're going to go for more stats. So we'll continue and we'll summon a ranged unit over here, the high health. Okay, and this unit here has regeneration whenever one of our units dies. So in this case, you can see here a lot of regeneration. So we'll need to make sure we deal as much damage as we can to this unit. Most likely it is going to survive for at least a couple of turns. Okay, uh, can we deal any additional damage to this new unit? No, we'll have damage over here. We have combat over here. But again, we're still going to go with our stats first. So we'll summon this unit over here. This unit, whenever we summon a unit, it will give toxin to our other units. So that's why we're seeing the negative attack go through. Okay, we still have our extra damage going. Still going to go on our summons. We'll give this. See if we can give him bleed makes more sense. Yeah, we'll give it bleed. That's fine. All right, so we'll attack. Attack. Damage over here. And at this point now, we don't care if they do silence for us because we still have these other rotters that are coming into play. If they don't, we'll still be able to deal damage to their units and eventually uh, mark them for destruction and get rid of them. So they did remove the bleeding. Uh, we have damage over here. I guess right now we'll actually do our destruction skill. Then we'll wipe those out. We'll continue on and we'll then now summon a unit with high attack. And at this point, once again, we don't care if they do silence because then we'll have our units, uh, we'll have the attacks reset back to their normal stats. So in this case, it'll be 111, 55, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, this isn't bad. Let's see, we got damage over there, damage over there. Summon our range unit here to destroy this. Still waiting for them to go silence, but they still have not done that yet. Now they have. That's good. 
So no more skills on our units. Now dealing with these stones over here. Interesting. Uh, let's see what makes more sense. We have this skill here to give Mist to Chaos units. We'll go for damage over here. Yeah, sure, why not? Trying to deal as much damage as we can to their units. They have this unit here that whenever one of their units dies, they'll give plus health back to their Warlord. Okay, so now they're pretty much back to full health. Okay, we can't summon anything, unfortunately, for this turn because everything is still around, so we'll skip the turn. Clear out this unit and this unit here due to combat. Still can't summon. <laughs> But we're pretty close to lethal right now. So you got 53, 117. All right. Okay, so next turn, if we do have spots still available, we'll do our summons. Got this unit here. Whenever one of our units attacks, we'll heal for a little bit. Seeing if we can. Okay, as long as we summon something that deals more damage than 37, we won't be net losing life. So in this case, we'll summon these over here. Then we'll summon these over here. And we should be good. A little longer battle because of that unit on the first turn that gave the toxin to our units, and then they had to do the silence at some point, so that's okay. Right, as you saw, we did get some sparks right now because we're still in the world event. Got some increase in rewards, so let's go. Nice, get to start first. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to start with our melee unit down here. Uh, it doesn't have the best attack, but it has the best health. And we're going to prioritize health for against Ogre once again because of the silence. And we're going to make sure that we cover the bottom row first because there's every every once in a while they'll summon something like a Ghosto or a Mina that will uh, ruin our setup. All right, so this is cool. Uh, Taking a look here. All right, we'll summon this unit over here. Deals damage to a wounded unit when it comes into play. So we'll get rid of this unit over here. I guess we should have actually summoned this over here to destroy this building, but eh. we're, we're trying to cover this bottom lane first. Either play is fine. All right, we'll continue on. We'll summon this unit over here. Deal some damage to destroy this. I know it has block, but it doesn't have that much block. And we summon this unit because it has these two extra shards over here that will give metal shield to this unit over here. All right, so they did their silence, so that's good. Now we just need to make sure we can control the board. All right, so that is destroyed. We'll summon this unit over here to destroy this. And then also the extra rotters that come into play will help us block for some damage and then also deal damage to their units as well. Uh, next turn, we'll probably summon this melee unit or this unit here with the extra health. Uh, yep, the building. All right, so combat will destroy that. We'll summon this unit here with the high health. Placing it over here. Okay, some vampirism, but nothing too serious. Okay, so they did the stones with the heal. This is actually going to be good for us because at the end of the turn, these rotters will die, or beginning of the turn rather, and then they'll deal damage to one of their units. Then we'll be able to do our summons and then our extra uh, destruction. Okay, so they only have this unit here, deals damage whenever one of our units come to play, deals damage to our warlord. Nothing too scary right now. We'll summon this uh, we'll summon this unit here over here. Makes more sense. Reason why is because of the health, and then also whenever one of our units are attacked, it will reflect damage to them. It'll then help us set up for our destruction seal and then our summons for the next turn. Okay. So that unit does destroy our rotters when they come into play because they don't have enough health to survive the damage. Okay some damage over there uh do we have lethal not quite yet no we don't have lethal quite yet so we'll hold off one more turn destroy that oh i forgot about the reborn and the extra damage i didn't think that he would uh survive all right so we have damage over there so that's good
Okay, these three are marked for damage. Next turn, we'll do our summon, followed by the other destruction, and then summons. And then we should be good for lethal, or pretty close to lethal. We got this over here. Dealing some damage whenever one of our units, uh, whenever a unit is destroyed. So damage there. We'll do our destruction. We'll take a little bit of damage. That's fine. We'll do our summons. And then let us see what makes more sense. We have that over there, there, over there. We'll summon this unit over here. Okay, so we destroyed the Caesar's head. That's good. We'll have our extra damage over here. We have our own building here that will deal damage whenever one of our units or any unit is destroyed. And it should be these four over here. So they should be taking roughly another 50 or 60 damage. And then also an attack boost at the beginning of the turn. <laughs> Good old mirror match. All right. All right, so we'll have damage over there. Uh, I'll summon this unit over here. Summon this unit over here. Destroy that. Extra damage to our units over here. Damage to that. And there we go. So pretty pretty straightforward battles right now, just making sure that we're holding on to our summons and then going for destruction when appropriate. All right, some more sparks, so that's good. And more sparks. All right, some more awards, and let's go. Oof, okay. First increase in health over here, so probably going to be losing here, but we'll do the best we can. That unit has a large amount of health. All right. Let us see what makes sense here. We'll start with our building, actually. Uh, reason why is because it does get around some of the silence, and then it'll also help us in terms of the skill here. So whenever one of our units dies, it will heal, and then also give some attack to our units as well. Okay, have building that deals damage to our units at the end. I don't think we'll have anything to block here specifically. Hit block for the damage. Make sure that we don't have this destroyed. I guess we're still going to have to focus on health. The damage over there. We'll summon our unit here with the high health. And I really think, got really got to think about this. Because their units now are pretty large. Damage over there. And some more damage over there. I'll uh, summon our unit here with the high health. We decided not to summon this over here because this unit is already going to deal damage to this. So we're just making sure that we can set up the board in some way. Next turn, we could summon this unit here to set up for a board wipe. They may or may not do silence. We'll see what happens. All right, so we'll have that over there. Damage over here. We'll summon this unit over here. As you can see, there also is some sort of form of attack steal whenever one of our units are being destroyed. Or whenever they're coming into play, rather. Alright, so we'll have damage there, damage there. Alright, so we're pretty low on health. We're going to do our destruction skill now, after our summon. Okay, and we got to find a way to fight the board for the board. Summon this unit down here. But I think we may have taken a little too much damage uh, in the beginning. All right, they got their summons, got their stones. Ouch. <laughs> okay, uh, they summoned an Aphrodite after the stones, and we took the damage over there. So, no big deal. Kind of expected that uh, that was going to happen, so that's okay. Got two more, so let's go. Uh, they got an over here. They got a sentry pet, so extra attack boost to their units. As you can see, a lot of attack boosts. Okay, uh, they have this unit here that has an extra attack boost at the first summon and then at the end of the turn. Also gives extra attack boost to their units now. We're going to summon our unit here with the silence, and we're going to summon it over here so that we can actually place another unit to block and then also not use this uh, poison rune for us. Next turn, we're going to summon this unit here with the high health, probably summoning it down on these two lanes over here. OK, 
Okay, and as we have no ranged unit, which is unfortunate, so we'll do that. Summon our unit here, has vampirism, so we'll deal the extra damage needed. Okay, I guess I got toxin at the end of the turn. All right, so we'll still have this unit alive, have this building over here. Next turn, going to summon our ranged unit for some extra damage. Okay, we got that over there, that over there. See what this does. Okay, attack with the metal shield. All right, so combat will actually destroy that, so that's good. We'll summon our unit here with the higher health and the higher attack. Break the metal shield and destroy that. Okay, we drew up the silence right now, so that's good. Um, either one of these ranged units are going to be good. Let's just see how they end up setting up. Interesting. All right, so we have that over there, that over there. All right, we're going to do our summon, and then the reason why we're going to also summon this unit over here. So at the end of the turn, this unit will deal damage to their uh, range units, or actually all units, and then this unit here set their range unit health to five, so that's why we're able to destroy this unit over here. Also helps us set up because it will give metal shield to our units, and then also pierce as well. Right here with leading in the line and reborn. So combat, or actually only one form of combat over here. All right, we'll look to get rid of their units. We have that over there. We'll summon our unit here with the higher health. Destroy this. Okay, so right now we're actually in pretty good shape. We have these two units here, not too much of a threat. We have this puppet on the field that will remove negative effects so we want to get rid of this as soon as possible uh, we can summon this unit here with the extra attack we could summon this unit here with the extra summons probably this one first just so we can deal the extra damage all right looks like our summon our board setup has been wiped a little bit so we'll have our damage there have our damage there see what makes the most sense we'll have extra combat over here Got to find a way to deal damage to this unit uh, because of the extra damage that it is dealing whenever it attacks. And it'll also deal damage to units in these two rows over here. So there's no spikes, none of that. Summon this unit over here to deal the extra damage whenever it attacks. Get some health back off of the melee kill. Hopefully they don't summon another range unit over here. All right, so we'll have our extra damage. We'll have our unit here that freezes one of their units, or one of our units at the end of the turn. So we're still looking for a way to get through here. What's going to be more important? Oh, actually here, we can do that, that, that. There is a chance we could do our summons, but then they'll end up missing. That over there. Sure, why not? All right, we'll do our, we'll take a chance. We'll do our summons. All right, so we'll have something to destroy that. So that's good. We just need to summon something to destroy this, which has 82. Summon a unit over here. Uh, when it comes into play, it gives reborn to one of our chaos units. So in this case, it's just there's this one here. You can see the symbol over there. So we have the board back, so that's good. These units will block at least for some damage. This unit here has the extra attacks and the extra health. And then we have this unit here with the flying over here. Uh, let's get to see more sense. We'll summon this unit here with the extra damage. It also deals damage at the end of the turn based upon the health of one of our units. We're just trying to make sure that we pick off their units for health. Okay, and then next turn we can summon another one of these to deal for some extra attack. We could summon this unit to set up for some death runes, but uh, I think it's going to go pretty good right now. Let's see, we have damage over there. Okay, we can summon our range unit, and there we go. So a little bit of a late game threat at the end with the Strick on the top corner over there. We did have our destruction skill, and then we had our summons to then wipe up those other units, and there we went. All right, so sparks, sparks, and sparks. Nice. Okay, so more chest. All right, let's keep going. Okay, looks like they're starting first. 
They got a sentry pet again with the extra damage over here, even more extra attack boost. So that's not good. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we're still doing some dark tower and we're going from there. All right, so we have damage over there. Let me actually take a look at see if we can kind of get this through. So we have damage over here. Do you want to do it? Yes, we will. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some in-game boosts to see if we can actually improve the skill over here to deal damage to their units. So number one, number two. Nice, all right, great. So when this unit comes into play, you'll deal damage to all units. We'll be able to destroy this building and then destroy uh, this unit through combat over here. And we only do this in pretty close situations. This unit, the first unit that they summoned, it deals damage to our units whenever we attack their warlord. And so we want to get rid of this unit now so that we don't end up ruining our board. We'd rather spend the in-game dust rather than have to spend gems for later on. All right, so this unit here just has flight. We're going to summon our unit here with the high attack. How did it point? Oh, wow. Oh, there's, I guess there's a fable going on right now to give our units uh, our ranged nature poison. So that's good. All right, we'll have damage over there, damage over there. Okay. We still have our building over here that's giving us metal shield, so we can actually randomly take advantage of that. We have damage over there, damage over there. Okay, we'll summon our unit here to transform one of their units. I guess I could, I could have summoned the other unit here as well. There is a unit that, when it came into play, it removes negative effects, so it could have actually removed the miss, but this is okay. I took the chance that we were going to transform this unit. All right, so we have that over there, that over there, let's see. We'll summon this unit here with the metal shield to deal damage to this. Really, really regretted that choice now because that unit had a lot of health. But this is fine. Do that, that over there. All right, so we have combat, combat, more combat again. Probably gonna use our skill now just to hold off, uh, especially since we do have this unit with the metal shield. So we'll do our summon, we'll do our destruction, and then we'll summon a, summon actually this ranged unit over here. This ranged unit, it gives a extra summon at the end of turn. So give it a little bit of protection. And at this point now, we don't mind the silence anyways, because then we still have our building here that is getting uh, giving Metal Shield to some of our units. All right, we have this unit here that gets uh, silence to our units whenever we attack. We're going to summon our own unit here to silence it. All right, so they did their silence, so that's good. We don't have our, our destruction skill anymore, so we'll need to find a way to get around their units. All right, so they have their stones here with the heal. Looking for units that can get around this. We have this unit here that deals damage behind, so that could actually help out over here. Yeah, we will. You know, we'll summon our unit. So this unit here, it deals damage behind the target equal to its own attack, so that'll be able to destroy that. Okay, and we're going to wait uh, until uh, another turn or so to do our summons because we're just dealing with these stones over here. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, uh, let us see what makes the most sense. Do damage over there, do damage over there. We'll summon this unit over here. The uh, reason why we're summoning this unit is because whenever it attacks, it summons these rabbits. When these rabbits are destroyed, they'll silence the unit that kills it. So we'll get a little more extra summons on the board, help us block, and then also help us remove some negative effects if they are destroyed. Hmm, not what, not what I wanted to see. So this unit steals attack whenever uh, it is attacked. Got to find a way to destroy this as soon as possible. So we'll have that over there. I got damage over there, damage over there. Hold off on our summons. We'll have damage over here, destroy that. Summon our unit. Hmm. Uh, figuring out over here. Right. We're gonna summon this unit here. And the reason why we're summoning it is because it gives reborn to one of our units. So hopefully we can slow them down a little bit. 
Okay, we're gonna hold off on our summons. Uh, this one ha does have enough damage to actually destroy this, so even if these are wiped off, we can get a summon to attack and destroy this here. But as you can see, this unit here has stealed all of our tech. Not so much damage. Okay, this unit here heals one of their random uh, wounded units to the max whenever we summon, uh, whenever we destroy one of their units. So in this case, let us see here. One, two, three. Just doing some math. All right, we're going to be summoning this unit over here. Reason why is because if we ended up summoning another unit to destroy uh, one of their stones, there is a chance that we would have healed this unit back to full health. So in this case, we destroy that. Summon our unit to destroy that. Now it looks like in the in-game chat, the world event has been officially extended by a day. So some extra time for you to get some more sparks. So that's pretty nice. All right, so we have our damage over here. Uh, let's see, we have our damage there. All right, so we'll do our summons now to try and get rid of these stones and then also this flying unit over here. Okay, uh, we'll have that over there. We'll summon our unit here with the skill here to freeze one of their units at the end. So destroy those. Okay, destroy those and froze that, so that's good. We got the extra bonus here. So whenever one of our units dies, uh, they will give an extra attack, uh, extra damage rune to one of their uh, cells. Right, so we have that of reborn, so that's good. Okay, looks like they have their own. <laughs> Uh, extra damage runes on our side as well. We'll have combat destroy that damage over here. Have that over there. We're going to be summoning this unit here with the extra health. Get some health back off of our melee kill and then extra attack over here. And then this unit will also deal damage at the beginning of the turn. Next turn, we'll either be stacking units behind these two units, especially this unit here with now Reborn, or we'll summon a unit to get rid of this uh, damage rune over here. Nice. All right, so we have this unit here that gives spikes. We're going to summon our unit to deal damage over here. Deals damage to one of their wounded units. And I think we have enough for combat damage too. There we go. Nice, so it took a little longer. We had to use our our destruction skill early and our summons, but as you see, we eventually held back the board with our reborn unit, and then we picked off their stuff, and then we went. All right, so, so some more sparks. Just going through that. Okay, it looks like our rewards have changed now, so we'll be getting epics instead of rares. Still got two more victories, so let's go. Or two more attempts, rather. <laughs> All right, so they're starting first. They have a Gleedy Pet, which will give extra health back to them whenever a melee unit kills on their side. Okay, got this unit here with the Reborn, extra damage. We're going to summon our unit here with the Silence. So at least we'll get rid of that Reborn and then also get rid of their extra stats. Has a Heligate in front of it, so whenever it's attacked, it will summon a unit in front of itself. And give a little bit of extra health for our, our zombies too, but usually that skill doesn't come into play too often. Alright, so our Hellgate is destroyed. We need to summon something to destroy this, so we need to deal, what was that, 66 damage? So we have this unit here with the extra damage and the Reborn. Over there. Sure. And we'll get an extra bonus too. We'll be able to deal some damage to the order unit. So in this case, it was that building. So if it's destroyed, we'll have another unit for reborn. We'll have that over there. Nice, got some combos going on over here. We got this unit that deals damage to chaos units. So we'll be able to destroy this here. Oh, oh, not enough. Why did I think it was, it's a 47. Should have calculated that a little better. Oh boy. This, uh, this may cost us. <laughs> All right, so we still have our unit over here. They did their silence, so that's good. Got rid of those. This will destroy that by combat, destroy that by combat. 
Next turn, we'll summon our unit that can deal damage to their units. That over there, that over there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll summon our unit here with the extra health. Uh, it'll silence one of their units when they attack it, and then also gets extra health to our warlord and itself. We need to do our destruction skill in the next turn or so because this unit here it gives a extra summon in front of range units that they summon. And then also their units are going to heal because of this totem over here. All right, so silenced over there. It's cool. We're going to summon our building over here to guard for the line here we don't mind taking the damage and this unit will actually help us set up for a board wipe if they do decide to do their stones which they did so that's good as you can see every unit that's coming out in play is being marked for damage so then we'll be able to then wipe out their stuff assuming that they don't end up healing all right so they summon their own unit here with the silence we'll do our do our summon We'll do our destruction and then we just need to summon something to destroy this here so we'll summon our range unit on top of the health room so that's the board so that's good we still have our building that's dealing damage to them and their units and then also the damage at the end of the turn Oof, what does this one do okay gears give them bleeding okay also bleeds in the line nothing too concerning We'll summon our unit here, one, two, three, just doing some math. So 54, 22, should be good here for lethal. So not quite enough yet, but with that extra fable damage, I was able to destroy that. Okay, uh, let's, okay, let's just see how much damage they have. So 136. Five, we'll summon our. Let's see, we're off by a little bit, right? One, I gotta. Uh, it's hard to make up these numbers right now because it says that. All right, we'll summon our unit here to deal damage to their, to all units except chaos. Summon our unit over here, destroy that. It gives a miss to one of our units, but the big thing is that whenever it dies, it gives a skill to potentially reborn this unit back. And next turn, assuming the board is still open, we'll do our summons and then go for lethal there. So we have our damage, we'll do our summons. And we'll actually summon our own ghost over here to deal some extra damage whenever one of our units attacks. And there we go. Nice. All right, some more sparks. All right. And some more epics, so let's keep going. Okay, we got some more health over here, so that's not good. Uh, they have their sentry pet, extra damage over here. All right, we're going to start with our TNT unit over here. We're gonna be placing it over here to break the metal shield for this building, and then also have these uh, inst... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> They're called instant kill runes, but then it says here it's an instant kill uh, rune of death. So whenever they summon a unit on it, it will be destroyed. We're going to try and keep this unit alive as much as possible so we can get some extra runes out there. Okay, uh, they got this unit here that is dealing damage, uh, extra damage to our range units, so that'll slow us down a lot. Don't have anything to actually destroy this either. So what we can do, we'll have combat destroy that, we have that destroy that. We're going to be summoning this unit over here to destroy this building. Uh, this unit has a skill that whenever it dies, it transforms a wounded unit into a box. So maybe? Actually, wait, no, we don't wound anything. Why did I just do that? <laughs> That's not good. All right, so nothing is transformed, and that is destroyed over there. Those are marked for damage. Do we want to do our destruction skill now? Still a little too early. We could get a unit back. Uh, sure, why not? We'll do our destruction skill right now. So we'll do our summon first, destruction skill, and then we'll follow it up with a melee unit with high health over here.
Okay, and if they do their silence now, it's okay. They'll still have relatively good stats. We can follow up with this. Uh, ooh, we can follow up with this range unit over here. So that'll be good. Summon it here on the attack room. Or the attack spot, rather. And once again, we don't mind with the silence because these units already have good stats. Oof. All right. Uh, so they have this unit with the extra attack, attack steel. We'll summon our unit here with the freeze one of their units uh, in this line. Next turn, we're going to be summoning a ranged unit to destroy this, or a one of these melee units to destroy that. Because we know for sure we can't have this unit stay alive on the on the field anymore. So we'll have that over there, we'll have that over there. Does this work? Mm, not quite yet. That over there. Alright, so we're just going to need to deal with their ranged unit, which is unfortunate. We'll summon our unit over here. If they go silence now, our rotters, which normally die, they won't die. So that means that we'll have some extra blockers. We just need to get rid of this range unit over here. It does have a little bit of poison, but it's not going to stay alive long enough. Uh, well, the poison is too small relative to the health, but we'll do what we can. All right, so we have this unit over here. Oops. Okay, as a bleed, bleeding enemy death over here. We'll do our summons to actually try and get rid of this unit here. So we have the combat to destroy that. Have that over here. Summon our unit here with the high health, and they also it deals damage to a female unit whenever it dies. So we destroy that unit with the bleeding. So that's good. Okay, got some heal from this unit at the end. Oh, okay. What does this unit do? Okay, it gives pierce and then gives all right so we'll have combat destroy that we'll have some stuff over here we give vampirism to our stuff that could be something so we have extra damage. yeah well, why not all right we'll summon our unit here whenever it attacks it gives vampirism to our units before the attack so we'll destroy those over there i just wanted to get the extra point of damage to destroy this unit because right now we're focusing on getting rid of their units rather than the extra damage to their warlord Right, so as you see, the extra damage to destroy that female unit as unit here with evasion and then also plus health and attack boost. Wow, okay. Uh, and <laughs> every one of our units here is a, a, a ranged unit, so we'll, we won't be able to stop that. Oh, you know, here, we'll summon this unit over here. So we're summoning our unit here, gives the extra summon, and then the rabbit which will come into play. We'll actually be able to block this and then also silence this unit. Right, it silences all you. Okay, yeah, cool. I thought it, uh, what do you call it? It's, okay, there we go. So we got the damage over there, so that's good. But it still has evasion because of this unit over here. Let's see what makes the most sense. We have damage over there, combat over there. We'll summon our... We'll summon our flight unit over here to at least block for some damage. And then once again, we'll have the rabbit coming into play. We wanted it over here, but this unit here with the bleeding uh, eventually was destroyed. Not sure if we'll be able to pick off their units uh, for this. So we'll have damage over there, combat over there. Oh, we'll still have our ranged units, so that's good. We'll summon our unit here with the extra combat damage. Okay, destroyed one of their units over there, so that's good. Okay, it's getting pretty close to the wire because they still have these units here with the high attack. If they have something for 100-ish damage, they'll be able to destroy this and then go for game. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Alright, so they summon this unit here with the flight. Uh, no reborn because these units are not chaos. We'll have our extra damage over there. We'll have our damage over here. Do we have enough for lethal? We do not. But we do have extra damage going on over here. Let me see if we can give this an attack boost. Oh, we can. 
Yeah, okay, great. We'll summon this unit here with the extra uh, attack boost for the end game. Summon this over on the attack. No, we don't want to summon on the attack room. So we'll summon this here. It has extra attack. So destroy that. Destroy that. All right, great. Now we have the board back. Okay. Dealing some instant death damage over there, or sun death damage. The clutch, yes. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, yeah, we do have enough for lethal. We're just going to summon as much damage as we can on the board just to make sure. Mmm, look at that extra vampirism damage. And there we go. Had to use the in-game boost in order to get through in that particular combat situation. Uh, but yeah. Don't know really what else to say there. <laughs> okay, so we get some more epic chests, so let's keep going. Okay, got a uh, high level... Uh, Geisha over here, extra summons, kills all wounded units, and then the summons that we have as well. Oof. Alright, we're going to be taking some damage quite early, especially with this unit here. Let's see what makes the most amount of sense. We're going to... Hmm. Alright, since we know that they have the same skills we do, we want to draw their vampire first, because they can then wound our units and destroy them. We're going to summon, we'll actually summon our range unit behind here. Deal some extra damage to their units, as you can see here, for the extra damage. It'll help us set up for destruction skills if we can. All right, so we did draw out their vampire, so that's good. We're going to be taking some damage to our units. I'm just seeing how much damage we actually deal, so 13, so potentially destroy this. We have our unit next turn that can freeze some of their units. So in this case, it'll probably be this one over here. We're going to take a boatload of damage. All right, so we'll do our summon. Then we want to freeze this. Stop the lethal over there. We'll summon on the health room rather than the attack room. Okay, so their units are now marked for destruction, which we will most likely do. And then next turn, our, our units will be marked for destruction as well. So we'll need to find a way to heal our units to avoid them being wounded and then destroyed. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Destroy those. We'll summon our unit over here to block for some damage. Also give Mental Shield to our Warlord. Still waiting for them to go off. They they can definitely destroy our stuff early. All right, we'll get a little bit of health back whenever they're attacked. Okay, some damage over there once again. All right, looks like our Grace of Rock Fleet now has these seven extra attacks, so we'll try and go for those. Got to deal as much damage as we can to their units now, because they're going to do destruction anyways, and they are threatening lethal. So we'll summon our have that over there you have that over there i guess we'll summon our unit here with the mental shield i guess could we give this an attack boost oh all right this is fine so we have our random damage going on over there destroying some units could we have given this an attack boost yes but not to the skill oh Great, nice. We actually destroyed, as you can see, those seven extra attacks with the extra random damage over there. Helps us destroy their units. Uh, and we summon this unit here with the metal shield so that we can get around the destruction skill over here. But we are running low on health, so... All right, 187 over there. Have our unit here that heals their units whenever we attack their warlord. We'll summon a unit here with high health. And we're actually going to summon it on the attack room so we can deal some extra damage. If we can somehow stay alive for two more turns, we can do our, our summons, but it's looking pretty grim right now. Okay, especially this unit here with the extra summons. Okay, we still have our in-game boost, so that's good. We'll do that over there. Could do that over there. 
trying to see what makes the most amount of sense. So we'll have at least two summons over there for the combat. One, two over there. Let's see. This has splash damage for units around. So be able to destroy that. That right there. Potentially give this reborn. Okay, we got some health back off of our melee kills, so that's good. And then this unit got reborn, so that's good too. Oof. All right, well, we do have our summon, so that's good. Let's summon them. We have our extra combat damage over there. We got damage over here, just making sure the death triggers so that. Summon our range unit over here. And there we go. Whew. Wow, what a what a tight battle. All right, so we had our unit with the Reborn. Uh, took some early damage with their, um, what do you call it? They were able to wipe out our board using the Vampire and then the skill, but we came back. All right, let us keep going. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we are doing some Dark Tower still. Going on a pretty good streak. Uh, we lost one battle so far. And now we're facing somebody with 2,000 health. <laughs> oh boy. All right, and they can silence too. They got extra damage to uh, our Warlord. And they have this unit here with the, uh, what do you call? The extra damage over there. All right, uh, let us see. See what makes more sense. We'll summon our. We'll actually summon this unit over here. We're going to be losing a lot of our stuff early. Uh, just here, APEP. Uh, so normally I'm going to summon APEP. The only problem is that they have their unit that can deal silence. So eventually this unit will. Well, it'll, it'll end up getting rid of all our reborns. So we want to set up for units that can actually either take damage or help us set up our board. All right, so now this unit is not uh, invulnerable anymore, so that's good. We'll summon our unit here with the extra attack. Destroy that. Okay, and then as you see, as it died, it has these extra ins instant kill runes. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. Try and deal as much damage as we can. Summon this unit here. It freezes two of their units for a turn. Could we have given this extra attack? No, we can't. Oh, we could have summoned our unit here to deal extra damage to their units. All right, that's fine. We drew out the silence, so that's good. Still need to contend with the rest of their board. Ouch, that unit has a lot of health. All right, so we'll have combat over there. We'll have this over here. We're summoning our... Yes, we're going to be summoning this unit. So we're summoning this unit because it has extra clip shards. Those shards will give metal shield, and then they'll also do as... They'll function as an extra block for our... Um, our lanes. Next turn, we're going to be summoning our building that can actually block for some damage. All right, so we'll have that over there. We're going to be summoning this building over... Hmm. See what makes more sense. Yeah, we're going to be summoning our building actually over... Okay, I do want to keep this building alive as much as possible because it will deal combat damage to their units. Really want to draw out those stones so that we can have an open board for next turn. All right, yeah, and we're taking extra damage because of a ma uh, male kill over there. So let us see. So we have our unit here with the reborn, or not the reborn rather, but the, uh, what do you call? Oh boy. So we have damage over there, damage over there, damage over there. Oh, invulnerability. That's what I was trying to say. All right. So we'll summon our unit over. We'll actually do our summon to actually see if we can block. That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, we'll summon our unit over here. Okay, got damage over there. Counterattack. We'll actually destroy that. Okay, counterattack doesn't matter over there. Come on, stones with heal. <laughs> Just need that to come out so we can actually come back from here. Oh, bleeding. Oh, bleeding is even better. Great. 
All right, so we're going to do our destruction now to actually get rid of these. Okay, and okay, com or the extra building damage will destroy that. We're going to be summoning this unit over here. When this unit dies, it gives health of two of their units back to one. They still haven't done their stones yet. This is very scary. In the sense that I have no idea what other threats could come on, on the board. Two, three, wow. Okay, so our unit here with the attack steal and the bleeding uh, allowed us to actually stop the extra damage going on over here. Which is very nice. All right, so we'll have our unit over there. All right, we'll see if we can get some health back. One, two, three, four. Have that over there. Yes, we will. All right, we'll summon our unit here with the extra attacks. Get some health back, so that's good. And we now have, we still have our Shimuna here with the extra shard over here, and then the bleeding that is still going to occur with the attack steal. All right, so they, now they did their stones with the heal. Oh, come on, really? Oh, man. That's why we need to do the heal. Unfortunate. We have the board going, but once we took that 300 extra damage, uh, we couldn't go through. All right, we got one more, so let's see what we can do. Man, that was a that was a tough one. All right, so again, extra health, so probably not going to be doing too good here, but we'll do what we can. Look at that extra damage. Wow. All right, uh, first things first, we're going to summon our we're going to summon our range over here. And we'll get our extra summons over here. Seven wins is a lot. Yeah, I, uh, I I started things a little differently. Normally, I start with pirate first until we get beat up by the other warlords. Uh, but in this case, I just started right from the get-go to the Geisha. So that way we could actually, uh, you know, because eventually we're going to switch back to it anyway. So I just want to see how much how much better we could we could do in the first couple of, of goes. All right, so we have our units over here. We'll have that over there. We'll have our damage. We'll have our extra summon. We'll have that over there. We'll see how much tax deal it. So it's that much. All right, we're going to be summoning our... What's going to be more threatening? Uh, we're going to summon actually this unit over here. And we're summoning this unit because it freezes one of their units. Uh, we don't want this unit to attack because after the attack deal, it will be able to destroy this here. Play with Ogre, I get wrecked. Yeah, it. so I don't typically use Ogre in any of the game modes unless I'm setting up uh, in League. And the reason why is because the Ogre skill, It none of the Ogre skills, as you can see here, they deal any type of... Uh, there's no unit that attacks or actually has a unit that uh, deals damage, uh, as opposed to other warlords that have either a, some form of attacking unit or a unit that deals uh, damage or attack boost. So that is why I, I don't do that. All right, so we'll have that over here. We'll have our poison damage over here. Do we want to use our destruction skill now? Probably so, because we'll still have to deal with other stuff. So we'll... Do our, we'll do our summons. Hopefully it doesn't block. It does block, so that's unfortunate. Do our destruction. We'll have 48 and 21, so that's 69. Uh, this will be 80, and then the extra damage at the end will destroy that. We're going to summon a unit with high health if we can. We'll have our extra summon eh, high health over here. Do want to destroy their stuff, so we'll actually summon this ranged unit behind here. Is Jimmy or Ogre better for Dark Tower for my only skins? I would say probably Jimmy, just because of the extra summons. Those damage pentagrams that Jimmy has from the... Or actually, no, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Um, What do you think? Because they have their silence. They have their... I would probably say Jimmy, just because of the, uh, the second skill, the one with the extra... The ranged units with the splash and then that third skill to set the unit health of all all their units except melee units to one that that could help up for later on all right so they haven't done their silent yet which is unfortunate uh we'll summon our unit here with the high health we could actually let's set that over there that over there could do some heal yeah we'll summon our unit here with the high health why not yes block rocker boy health in one uh, the issue with the first skill with the block is that you'll have something like this, where you'll see a lot of people running Ogre, and then they'll just end up silencing your stuff, and then the block is is gone. I guess it's not terrible in the sense that you can force their silence because you have units with block, but other than that, it's it's uh, it 
it, it isn't that particularly helpful. All right, so because we don't have our destruction skill, we need to deal with these units. Uh, let's see, we have to damage over there. We'll summon our flight unit over here to see, try and deal some damage over here and then also block for this. But we're going to be pretty low in terms of the uh, board protection right now just because we don't have anything to destroy this quite yet. What stones he played one health and destroyed? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, something like that could occur where you do have uh, you you have your third skill and then they can set the health to one. You could summon a unit with uh, extra damage to then destroy their units. All right, so we have a couple of stuff over here. Extra vampirism damage. We have this building here that deals damage to our units. All right, we're going to be summoning this unit here with the high health. Also gets block and then also reflects damage to units as well. We're going to be placing it over in this spot over here so that we can actually put some units behind i was thinking about putting it over here to actually then have another unit to block but we do want this skill to go off as much as possible play the farmer who's the farmer do we have who's the farmer oh the okay eric the gray yeah that's right we could do that um for now though i think we're going to be okay we have this unit here that deals damage to our units we can't do our summons because then they'll be destroyed so we will let's see we have damage over there combat over here we'll summon our ranged actually do we want to summon our range unit over there no we still want to get rid of it that's fine so we'll summon our range unit here we'll transform one of their units in this case it actually hit the building so that's pretty nice over here so we can actually do our summons we have our combat over here and we have now gotten rid of all their attacking units, so that's good. What does this unit do? I've never seen this one. So whatever it dies, it deals damage to our warlord for every melee unit on their side, and then it also gives plus attack boost. Still want to get rid of their unit. We're going to summon our... We have combat over there. We have pierce over here. Oh, we can summon our unit here with the reborn, so that'll be good. And we're actually not going to do our summons quite yet because we want to keep these spots blocked. If we do destroy these, they could potentially summon a unit to protect over here. So we're slowly giving reborn to our units. This unit has reborn, so when it comes back into play, it will transform one of their units. So that's good. Okay. Hmm, Aphrodite again, dealing extra damage. So we need to destroy this unit as quickly as possible. Do we have anything for this? We have damage, damage. We have our extra combat damage over here, 93 over there. So not quite enough yet. We will summon our, let's see. We'll summon our ranged unit over here. Hopefully we can get some puppets into play to block and then reflect some damage back over. Okay, so that's good. Okay, they got some health back off of the stone, but we have now gotten rid of the stone, so that's good. And if they summon something with 600 health, we could potentially be destroyed. All right, so, oh, cool. The Reflect did get rid of that, so that's good. We just need to deal with this. Okay, do we have enough to destroy this? One, two. We need to destroy this first and then have this destroyed so that we can get rid of the Metal Shield, just seeing if we can do any type of boost. We can't boost that because it's summon. We could boost this, and so that's 102. And, oh, we can't boost this either. So, do we have enough damage? 1046. This is 60. No, that's that's 59. Uh, 59, okay. So, actually, that, that'll be enough. So, we'll do our in-game boost. Give us some stats. So, 115, 161. Okay, so that'll be enough to destroy that. We'll have this unit to attack and destroy this. Uh, we'll need to summon another unit over here. Need to deal around 80 damage, which we don't have quite yet. We have our extra summons, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. We'll do our summons. And then we're actually going to then summon our unit over here to give an extra... Oh, actually, no, oh, that wouldn't have made sense because the extra attack room is now going to get wiped out. Or actually, it's going to land on the puppet over here. So we have that. Reflect, destroy that. Combat, destroy that. That's good. And all right, they just gave up instead. <laughs> Whew. All right, 
big threat there with the Aphrodite, the one that deals damage at the end of the turn based upon the health of one of their units. But our puppet from the Madame Lotrix then reflected the damage and destroyed that, and then we're able to come back. All right, cool. Still got some more going, so let's go. Uh, super many attacks does help, but not in that specific situation where we need to get rid of their unit. That one unit with the extra uh, attacks, or that one unit with the extra damage would have helped out. Not a bag, miso snacks. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Nice. We got a nice little setup going on over here. So we're going to do our summon. And of course it doesn't land in where we want it to go. Dang it. All right. So the, the ideal situation was this summon would have landed on one of these three spots over here. And then we would have summoned this unit to set the health of this to one. And then it'll have it destroyed in the same turn. But instead we'll summon our unit behind here for some protection. We'll deal some damage, and now the health is now set to 1, so next turn we can actually destroy this. We're facing also Omega OXO. Huge pirate here with extra summons and those pentagrams dealing damage. They also have a pet that should get... Oh, their pet's rather small. That's kind of weird. Okay, so they do still have some attack boosts over here. Did lose our unit over there. We do have a nice little 1-2 combo going on over here. We'll summon this unit to deal damage to their Chaos unit, which is behind, and then destroy that over here. It's unfortunate we used our summon quite early in order to get rid of this unit. Uh, we had to get rid of it because it deals damage at the beginning of the turn. Right. No boost quite yet, seeing if we have anything with Reborn. We do not, right? We don't. So we'll just summon a unit here with combat, avoiding the damage or magic spot over here. We need to get around their pirates. Are there sharks over here? Okay, so we have this to destroy that. That over there. Please summon a unit here. No! <laughs> ah, this could still work out. Let me see if we can actually do some stuff over here. Uh, extra attack boost. Yeah, sure, why not? We're going to summon this unit over... Do we need to do it? Sure. We're going to be summoning this unit because it deals extra damage, as you'll see right here. So it gets an attack boost, deals some extra damage. Okay, it marked this for destruction, so that's actually pretty good. And we do need to get rid of this because of the extra rotters that will deal damage to our units, and then also block our cells over here. Next turn, we're going to be doing destruction no matter what happens, unless they end up healing over here. All right, so we'll do our destruction. And hmm, do we have enough damage? To, okay. So I know their skill that deals damage to units around. I just want to see if we can actually deal some extra damage as well. So 50 of the attack. So that's 90. Oh, so this should actually destroy this here. We're going to be summoning a building here to actually block for damage and then also deal some damage. And then you'll see this combat damage, 90, 90, all the way down there. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we still have our main attacker over here. We're going to have our combat damage destroy uh, combat damage to, to attack that, and then we'll have our building damage destroy this, just seeing if there's any other stuff gives toxin to units except buildings. So this unit here, a lot of skills, but then also has their toxin as well. Uh, we're summoning our unit here with the flight. Uh, we're actually going to be placing it on the health rune over here. You don't understand how the damage goes. Are you talking about this particular unit here? This unit, it gets a health, uh, it gets an attack boost for every wounded unit uh, whenever it attacks. I, I'm not sure if it counts itself, but it'll deal uh, extra damage afterwards based upon the uh, health, uh, based upon the attack of this unit here. So when it kills something, it will deal damage to units around. So that's why we're able to destroy that. All right, so we'll have our unit over here. We don't need to do our summons quite yet. We're going to be summoning, let's see what makes more sense. Could do a melee unit. We're going to summon this unit. It deals, it gives metal shield to one of our units whenever another unit dies. All right, so no attack boost for itself. That's what happens. Uh, how the chain works. So what happened was on that turn, they had a unit here, here. Uh, sorry, actually, it was, what was it? It was like here, 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 and here. So this unit attacked this first. It attacked, uh, then this unit was killed. So then the damage went here. Then this unit was killed, so it killed this. And then this unit was killed, so it killed that. So that that's what ended up happening. All right, so we have two other units here with the miss. See if we want to... Okay, we still need to destroy this unit, seeing what makes more sense. If we got silence over there, 
if we silence it, we could end up going low on health. Tax deal wouldn't actually be that bad. Let's see what makes more sense. Probably the silence, just because we do want to stop that miss. We obviously do, we do want to deal damage to their units. And this unit also has a lot of block and also plus health, so that, that is the better unit for us. Okay, next turn we can do... I guess we'll actually summon, summon Mother Owl if we have to. Yeah, we probably will summon Mother Owl because we need, need to destroy these. So we have damage over here. We got to deal enough damage to destroy this because it's going to give Reborn to their units. In this case, this unit has Reborn again. Also, this is going to give negative attack to our units. Ah, <sighs> actually. So negative attack, so I have not... Oh, okay. All right, well, I have negative attack afterwards. So let us see. So we'll have 136, and then this building deals 34. Can we give this an attack boost? Not quite yet. Could do combat over there. And then if we actually destroy this 151. And this doesn't actually give extra damage at the end, so we're going to give this an attack boost if we can. So, oh no. I think that's enough, so we'll do our summon. Oh no, I can't get our summon! Ah. Oh, you know what? You know what just happened? Okay, so APAP ha has a that skill with the Reborn. They still haven't fixed it. So what happens is if you give a unit with Reborn and then it have his, has a death trigger, so even though that you saw that unit was silenced, the skill still goes off. And so that that is why we just got uh, we just got screwed over there. Ugh, it's disgusting. All right. So not only did we waste our summons, we also uh, wasted our attack boost over there. So we still need to destroy this as much as we can. Summon a unit here to block for some damage. Okay. So at least no more reborn of that. Need to deal with this uh, unit still with the reborn. Man, that is disgusting. All right, you guys all saw it there. The reborn with no skills ended up happening. All right, so whatever unit they out summons, gotta get reborn because that's how the math works. Uh, we're not gonna do our boosts anymore because at this point, uh, actually no, we're still gonna try and fight. What am I doing here? We'll do our boost. One hundred eight. So that's one forty. Oh, that's only one forty two though. That still isn't enough. What am I doing? I'm so disheveled because of that uh, that turn there. All right, so those units are still alive. Doesn't look like we're going to make it out of this one. <sighs> right, so we have damage over there. It's still going to give Reborn to their units. And we're going to be taking roughly 300 damage over there. I will be absolutely floored if we still survive this. Doesn't look like we're, that's going to happen, though. So I have this unit that can actually destroy two of their units over here. Yeah, I, I was going to play Croc. I just I realized, too, that this unit still has Reborn. Uh, we do need to get rid of this unit because of the extra attacks that are going to occur. We won't have... Do we have any attacks deal off of that? I suppose. Sure. So not quite enough to destroy this. That was that was a big problem. But we do have the extra health over here, so that's something. And they can still deal roughly about 200 damage. Still has a unit of reborn. Okay. All right, so we'll still have our damage over here. We have our unit here with reborn. Has our unit here with spikes. Could freeze two of their units of nature, so in that case, we over there. I just want to see how much spikes they have here. So it's spikes of 15, so we'll actually still be able to survive that, so that's good. I'm still mad with that uh, that prince all over here that had the uh, the reborn over there. 
Okay, yeah, and we're dead now because of the unit here with the extra summon. So, Ugh, that was that was rather unfortunate. But we did pretty good just from the uh, the first attempt. So we got uh, eight wins over here. We have another six days to do it, and so we'll check back in tomorrow see if we can get some stuff going. Uh, probably not gonna do league uh, right now just because I gotta do some stuff. But uh, yeah, we can. Uh, we'll just wrap it up there. So just a quick recap. Gotta get rid of these ads over here. No. <laughs> All right, so just a quick recap. Uh, we did some Dark Tower in the very beginning. We used our Gaseous skin right from the get-go instead of our Pirate. So we got some extra uh, battles over there. We got six days to do it. So we'll check back in tomorrow for the stream. And then, uh, yeah, World Event is still going on. Uh, where, does it, where did, did it say in the news officially that it got extended? It does not. But, ugh. What is going on? Oh, the extra drag over there. Yeah, so the world event looks like it was extended for another day or so. So as you can see here, it's currently about two more days. So check it out there. And uh, yeah, so for tomorrow's stream, we're going to be doing some more Dark Tower. Divine Arena is going to reset. So we'll be doing that. And then, yeah, we'll try and fit in some League as well. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, leave a message on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The content and stream schedule is right up there in the white box. So check it out. Please like and follow on Twitch for the live stream. Like and subscribe on YouTube for more videos. Uh, I did catch up on a lot of the other stuff as well. So we do have like the first blood <laughs> event for the new account. We're going to have some more Dark Tower, Pit, uh, Divine Arena, and more coverage of the world event as well. Do I know, do I know if it's going to be Legendary Divine Arena? I don't know, but we'll find out tomorrow. So check back in there. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate every one of you guys uh, checking out and supporting the uh, the channel. So yeah. Uh, this is Happy Splasher, signing off.